If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Holy. It's time, boys. It is time. Oh, this is going to take a while for me to build this squad. I'll tell you that right now. This account... Uh... <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it desperately needs a, a CDM of Chuamani's caliber. Jeez, man, they gave him Bruiser Plus and Intercept Plus. Here's the thing, man. You guys know I talk about Chuamani a lot this year. I always compare him to a lot of the CDMs in general because EA did this on this card. I mean, to be honest, right? I mean, look at the play styles. He has Jockey, Intercept Plus, massive play style, massive. They've given him a bruiser now that's probably going to work with his lengthy and an anticipate. And he still has the long ball pass, which I like a lot. He's got relentless. He's got aerial. Some good stuff, right? The main focus of this card in your team is to be the defensive player, right? They formatted him very nicely for that shadow chemistry style. I'll tell you that right now. A card that could actually potentially score some long shots as well. Long shots is not like a huge meta in this game. I mean, technically speaking, you can go for like a ball roll Trivella. Uh, long shots, yeah, you can. They, they can work. They, you have to boost your shot power a certain way and then get lucky with a regular time strike. And then the green time, it just has to do that, like, dip strike, you know? And Mbappe always does that dip strike. I don't know what it is, but some cards just have that thing to them, right? But the main focus of this card is to be your defensive player, right? If you play, um, you know, a 4-2-3-1, a 4 triple 2 like we recently reviewed from Now Easy, solid tactic. I'm going to try out his new 4-2-3-1. That's the whole point of having this card on your team is to be that strong defensive player in the midfield setup, right? So on a shadow chemistry style, boosting the pace, boosting the defense, definitely looking very solid in this card. They actually gave him shooting. They gave him passing. Passing is really important to have, guys. I hate when people don't talk about this enough. You need passing because it's tricky in this game, right? Especially with the play style. That's why Bruno's long ball pass is insane, right? But he has passing capabilities. He has a long ball pass, which is really key for CDMs. Um, dribbling is going to be in an area where 90 reactions, 90 for composure. I mean, guys, the, technically speaking, you can play this card as a center back. Like, uh, this looks pretty insane, to be honest with you. Like, <laughs> it looks really crazy, man. Um, but yeah, no, it definitely looks like a really interesting card. It's going to take me a while to complete him because it's 10 squads, but let's get into it. Okay, so we just completed the Chua Many card. Um, I might do an updated Rebury review as well because it is different after the patch, to be fair. Um, if you guys want to check out the earlier review, you can. But yeah. So uh, we put a little quick team together here that's pretty decent, to be fair. I think I would have to just switch. Like meta wise, it's uh, three or four players that are off white, right? But it's just for chemistry. I don't really care. Um, yeah, Chua Many will be playing in the role of the CDM, right? We're going to be testing him out, cut pass lane, stay back while attacking cover center. And then I might switch him to center back um, afterwards and then switch to another CDM in that area. I need to see if I actually have another CDM because I think the SBC account doesn't actually have a proper CDM. So this Chua Many was very important to get. But um, yeah, we'll just be trying out the team as so. And we'll see how he plays, man. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh, almost, almost. Only man passing play styles. I didn't mean to do that, but... We move, we move, we move. Long ball pass, man. Oh, that's a poor header to a many. Come on, bro. All about play styles, guys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, didn't do a cut inside there, eh? AI-wise. Maybe I have to, like, control him there? Leg round switch. I'll take that. I was a little bit lucky, but... 
We move, we move. No cut passing lane there. There we go. Should apply pressure there. Good, second man press works there. Nice intercept plus, good stuff. Good try there, he actually does go for the reach at least. He might have, I had a feeling he was going to use Keeper movement. I had a feeling. No! Come on, Schwimmany. Make the pass through the driven, eh? Ah, uh, I can get that first time header there, I would have been clutch for sure. Pass. Good job, Ribery. Good finish on the weak foot there. There you go, good stuff. Nothing there. Good first time pass. Nice long ball pass. Good job, guys. Good goal. Getting in this game is like so like awkward just to get the ball to someone, you know? So and the game restarts. Oh my goodness. That was me using advanced defending right there. I'll take that. I'll actually score with him, look at that. Well, I did give him shooting, right, but... Good block there. Yeah, too close. I shouldn't have shot that. That was stupid. I, I know that I'm too close to the goalie and I still do it. Give me that. Hey, the intercept works, man. I don't know. I don't know what the bruiser though, guys. One to one. Nice try. Please, 
please. Oh. All position there, good stuff. Wow. I'll take the slide challenge there. Nice try, nice try. I have to score that, there we go. Get lucky there. No animation, but let's get the block at least. There it is, good job guys. Take that, I'll take that. Try it out. If he scores those. Gundawan's so good, man. Gundawan is so good, bro. Good tackle. His hand was on nothing, guys. Ah, why not? Try it out, right? He's having a weak foot in this center, center back position. I feel like it could be okay, you know? game is ridiculous, man. Leg round switch. Good stuff. Good, good, good. Good defensive play. I didn't get the ball in the air there. I did do a pass though, so that's gonna be a goal from the finesse, yeah. Um uh, finesse shot plus definitely need to be moving the goalkeeper there. I used to the game like that, you know, boys. Okay, he actually did put a good pressure there for the aerial position. He just like glitched out of foot. Did you see that? Just to block it, he like glitched it out. Oh, this guy green times the headers, eh? That's kind of crazy. Good block, good block. First two, good stuff. Tackle, nice. Ah, 
Oh, I'm waiting for a backwards one there. Intercept, there we go. I just take him out. That's a good slide challenge from me there. Body to body. Good job. Good job, good job. Oh, come on, EA. Compensation, let's go. Nice. What just happened there? Did go for the reach there though, that's the important part, right? Emphasize, but we got it. First time pass there. A challenge. He was well positioned there in the middle, just in case he needed the interception. too far from there. Oh, that's a bad pass by me, but it was a good interception. Nice, good reach, too many good stuff. That's what I want to see. Honestly, if it was a like more obvious pass there, like the long ball pass is actually solid there. There you go. Oh, get the pass off. There you go. Intercept plus, baby. Did he just use manual goalkeeping? I shot to the near post with a green time strike and he still misses? No, dude, that's not okay, man. Dude, the tackle animation was nice there. Unlucky. Oh, yeah. And the attack, there's going to be emphasis for sure. <laughs> All positions, nice. Pass it up. There you go. Oh, can I get the interception there? Not close enough. Not close.
Don't you? And shoot. Okay. Almost got lucky. Oh, we'll get the defensive animations. No chance, no chance. First to it. AI gets to it, good stuff. Be careful the dribbling for sure. Oh, uh, if I was on side there, that would have been a joke, dude. <laughs> Holy. That law pass, there you go. Oh, I wasn't good enough, eh? Sounds good. That works. That definitely works. Good build up, guys. Let's go on delay. Oh yeah, pressure with me, and then he pushes a goalie, it does the extra animation, I like it, I like it. That works, dude, that works. I'm switching him so much. Um, this is the bruiser, right? The bruiser, it doesn't, it doesn't, the play style doesn't, it doesn't show up, guys. I'm, I just know that I'm using it. It doesn't show up. I don't know why. I'm, I, I am using it though. I, there, this has been a problem recently. Like some play styles will not show up. I'm telling you. I think that was true. That actually helped me out there too. Bruiser. Now it's being activated. That's weird. Super weird. Nice, true. Let's go, true. Good pass. Good pass, good pass. Nice defensive play there too. Try to let the AI do it there because it's tough to actually do the challenge yourself, you know? The bruiser, when you're tapping the X, when you're defending guys, it forces the animation out of the card. I'll pass that way. First time. Bang. And then a meta goal. A law pass, it's uh, it's nice to work with, you know? It's definitely nice. Law pass again. Nice. First time? Beauty. Oh, I should have just shot it first time. This game especially, you just gotta sh Yeah, guys, uh, the playstyle, like, indication, it's not always consistent. So, like, I, even my Saliba, who has Intercept Plus, like, he's doing Intercept Plus plays, and it just doesn't, uh, it doesn't pop up. So, 
you can kind of you, you have to base the physical stuff off of what you can see basically because sometimes it just won't uh i don't know it just doesn't doesn't show up it's weird We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, almost. Okay. It doesn't it doesn't pop up. So just just letting you know, like when you're watching the highlights, I just it's sometimes just not gonna show me doing utilizing the actual playstyles. I don't know why, it's just weird. I thought that wasn't a foul. I was like, excuse me, sir. Yeah, he'll win those. He'll win those. Go. Keep going, boys. Oh, I thought I was off. I was like, it's a little close. It's a little close. Nice. Let's go through a mini. Good pass. Good pass. Good stuff, my boy. Good stuff. But yeah, as I mentioned, the bruiser thing. I'm sorry, I can't. It, it just doesn't. It doesn't. It's not always gonna show. It just. It is what it is. First to it, chew a mini. Typical meta goal, but we'll take it. Kind of got cooked there, I'm not going to lie to you guys. He did kind of get cooked. Let's go Chew, under pressure. Under pressure. Ball pass. Nice. First time. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, that's not the... If it did the right skill move, I would have scored that. I'm trying a shot that's just not a shot that works. <laughs> not that one. Not, no chance. I don't know what's happening, but we move! We move, boys! Keep it going! Oh, that's a good play. That is a good play, boys. That is a good... It was a good passing build-up, it was a good passing build-up. Ah. <laughs> Imagine I actually got a power shot off with him. Why not? Why not? Oh, it doesn't get to that. Maybe aerial plus he would, huh? And that's with an anchor as well with the jumping. Oh! No! So yeah, guys, this review is going to be out.
way later than normal uh, had to handle IRL stuff, you know? Guys, true many. Okay, so let's talk about this card in-game, right? Both the playstyles that he's working with. So, Intercept Plus, really big playstyle. You guys know this. Intercept Plus is a really, really big playstyle. Now that they have given it to this card as a CDM, you can see that in different scenarios, the Intercept Plus is going to help you out a lot, okay? Because it helps with their positioning as well. It's a very key thing to mention. The way that they position themselves on the pitch is just significantly better. Now, when I am testing the CDMs, guys, sometimes I'm not utilizing the double tap R1. Sometimes I'm not utilizing the R1 because I want to see if the AI stuff actually does things sometimes, right? Um, with this gameplay, you guys can see that there are certain opportunities where the pass did kind of go through him when he you know, has an intercept plus and you would expect him to actually utilize that play style. But there are moments where, depending on the situation of the game, you kind of have to hold the R1, you have to hold a double tap R1 to kind of get into those scenarios anyways, right? So it just depends on, you know, what you notice the most in regards to what you should do commands wise for him to utilize it more, right? Now, the Bruiser Plus is another plus on the card because the Bruiser Plus will force a pace animation out of the card, right? So you'll probably see it's more in like the 20th minute of the video because it just doesn't want to work. Like and I wasn't on tactical, right? I was on advanced defending, tapping the X, right? To kind of get into those positions. Um, and the Bruiser Plus, when you see, saw those specific highlights, it pushes more of a pace animation out of the card, right? And that's very, very important to work with because with Chuameni on... You know, in your case, whether you give an anchor or a shadow, going to be completely up to you, right? But giving him these boosts with the anchor chemistry style could be ideal because you still put his defending in a really good area. But for me to utilize intercept plus more, for me to have higher initial acceleration sprint speed, I liked him on the shadow as well, right? So honestly, you can go either way, which whichever way you want. As you guys can see from the highlights, I was using him in both the CDM and the center back position. In my opinion, I think that with your back four, it's way more ideal to go with an absolute full meta center back, right? So it this card for the price range was ridiculous, right? And you guys know when I did the review for it, I told you guys he had the base mechanics. If he gets the, a card that already has the sauce, that gets the extra sauce from the showdown into the, especially with this card this card's ridiculous in game but it makes sense why he's ridiculous why because in the center back position mostly lengthy pace in the mid 90s area on the shadow chemistry style defensive stats is perfect he already has the base card stats for physical has 90 reactions um in game it just it's a card that will compensate you especially in, the, in those pace situations right so in my opinion i always tell you guys you try to go for the absolute full meta but as you can see I was using him as a center back and he still did perfectly fine. So depending on the situation of your club, if you don't necessarily want to use him as a CDM, you can switch him over to center back, but you guys know how I am. I'm going for the absolutes in that back four, especially with the game now, right? But guys, what's this card's main purpose in your team? The main purpose of this card is to be your stay back while attacking cover center player. And he performs that role really well. This card, I can tell, is going to be a 50-50 card within the community. I'm going to tell you guys why, okay? Very important to mention. After the patch, with more sluggish feel, right? Some people are going to want to use players like Gundogan, Yasuo Kimmich, Bruno Fernandes more than using Chuameni, right? That's where the 50-50 part is going to come from. But... If you want the guy that's just going to be that stay back, more defensive presence, more physical presence type player that, you know, might not be able to dribble as well as some of those other guys, this is going to be that type of card. If you guys chose to do the Makalele player, right? You chose Makalele. I think he was like a million coins during that time period, 800k. Like, you're still okay, honestly. Like, you're, you're still okay. The card could still perform uh, pretty well in game. I think after the patch, though, I will say that I'm not as super crazy about Chuameni as I was before, because I'm telling you guys, man, with the way that the buildup happens in this game, a lot of people are using pressure tactics. So when you're building up the play and pushing forward, I like that both of the CDMs can be good. Like there was a, a time period, right? Where I was obviously using him in the center back position and I had Gundogan, Gundogan which by the way, is this card, I didn't do a review for him, but this card is like really solid for that price. Like he is incredible in game, right? Um, 
if you want to buy him, be my guest, right? Gundawan, and then I also had the Yasuo Kimish card, right? And both of these cards are competent when it comes to attacking and defending, but mostly in their passing capabilities, right? So again, that's where the 50-50 part is going to come from, right? I think if it was before the patch and you just want that really solid foundation CDM and you don't really care about the attack, then sure. But some people are going to want more dribbling capabilities, passing capabilities with everything, pushing forward with, you know, some of the new cards. So it's really going to depend on the person, right? But for the role that Chua Meni is going to play in the team as a CDM, as a stay back while attacking cover center player, you guys know that over here, I always compared him to other CDMs that play that exact same role. Chua Meni is still going to do a solid job. Try your best to utilize both of the play styles of the card as much as possible in that CDM position more specifically. But honestly, if you play my center back, you can still do a pretty decent job. But... You know, when I look at players like Akanji and stuff, gameplay compensators is a little bit different, you know? Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a card and you didn't do Makalele, you're looking for a card that's at that stay back while attacking, cover center roll, stay back while attacking, passing lane roll, the card's still going to do a pretty solid job, okay? But as I mentioned, some people are going to prefer to use those other types of CDMs like Gundawan and Yash Yasuo Kimmich and Bruno Fernandes after the patch, right? With Makalele, for me, I said straight up that I prefer to use those types of players in that specific area. But again, it depends on what role you're doing on the card, okay? That's very important to mention. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I did everything, bro. Anchor, Shadow, both in the CDM and the center back position. Lots of highlights for you guys to check out the animations in certain situations um, to kind of give you guys a good idea of the card, okay? Hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.